Sup guys, welcome to another tutorial and today, as I said in the last video, I'm going to create a respawn system. So when our players die, we're gonna respawn elsewhere on the map. So I'm just going to create a little bit uh, more of this um, spawn points. So I'm just gonna hold alt and left click and drag to just create more spawn points. We're gonna also use them to respawn. Just gonna put them around in the level. Just make sure that they are above ground. So we don't spawn uh, like uh, below the floor. So I think I'm just gonna leave it like that. You can put it however you want in your level. And um, so you're gonna have to go where we die. So it's here when we destroy the actor. Okay. So when we do this, we also are going to want. So basically, go to your uh, event any damage, and from the branch, if we destroy the actor, that means that we are dead. So just create a little bit of space, I'm going to hold alt and left click to break the node, and then I'm just going to drag from true and do a spawn actor from, actor from class, and there we are going to spawn your player character, in my case it's the third, it's the third person character. So I'm going to spawn it, and the place that we want to spawn is basically um, so where one of the players spawns. So I'm just going to drag and create a little bit more space, and I'm going to get a node, get all actors of class. And I'm just going to let me just you know get a lot of space, and I'm just going to spawn. Um, I mean, select um, player spawns. Uh, player starts. There you go. Select that, and then you can just get the length and do a minus one because remember uh, the index starts at zero and the length adds a plus one to that. So you'd like if you have um, nine uh, nine player starts um, on the array is actually going to be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, so we're going to have to subtract one from the length because the length uh, starts counting from one and the loop the array starts cutting from zero because now we're gonna want to do a get a reference to that and what I'm gonna do is from this length just gonna drag and do a random integer in range so this is going to allow us to um, uh, basically get a random player uh, spawn so I just uh, hold control and drag left click so you can drag the nodes and let me just get a little bit more space. Now I'm just gonna get the actor transform. There you go. I just connect that to the spawn transform. And from the collision, I'm gonna say try to adjust collision, uh, try to adjust location, but always spawn. So we actually, you know, are certain to spawn. And now, before we destroy uh, this actor, I'm just going to drag from here. I'm gonna type possess. You're gonna see you don't have anything. Just uncheck content sex, uh, context sensitive, and you're gonna have that over here. So click on possess. But now we're gonna need a target, and that is the controller of this character. So the person that died. And I believe, if I'm not wrong, that we can just get the controller from this pawn. So we can possess it. And now we're just going to plug in destroy actor. If I'm not mistaken, this will work and we will spawn uh, if we die. So I'm just going to test the. I'm going to test with three. So I'm just going to go. Um, I don't know. I'm just going to do it with the clients. I'm just going to kill that guy over here. So he died. And let's see where he responds. Oh, guys, now we have a problem. Uh, that's because the default player spawn, um, if you see here, the trend, the scale is actually negative on the X for some reason. I don't know that wh why that is. So I'm just going to go over here to the world outliner. So I'm just going to click the first one and then uh, Alt Shift and left click. So I select all of the network players. And I'm going to change this scale to 1. And that should fix the problem. So now I'm going to play. Um, uh, now I'm gonna kill someone. I'm gonna kill this guy. 
so is that and now it should be spawned elsewhere there you go they're both there so i'm going to kill this guy and he actually spawned at the same place so you can see and now well if you want to see if this works while replicating you can actually control the character that died as you can see i left i'm gonna go over to this guy gonna kill him and you can see that i died and i respawned back and i can control it the same way so this is basically a spawn system um, uh, that you can do if you want to have more control over like where you spawn like having teams um, I guess I could do that in another video uh, so like uh, create you know what that's gonna be the next thing I'm gonna do I'm going to probably create teams so you can like assign a team to one another and then you can like um, have certain spawn points so like you respawn only on your team spawn points I guess that will be interesting uh, it is gonna seem like a battlefield kind of respawn system so yeah I think I'm gonna do that in the next video uh, it seems interesting so we can you know dive in a little bit more into variables and maybe how to use it widgets so we can insert what team we want to be so I think that's gonna be cool um, yeah so if you want more spawn points you can just you know create more or delete whatever so yeah uh, that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye bye